Well, this is Big Bob, and it's Tuesday, May the 9th, I believe, and today's word is keeping up. Now, we've heard about keeping up with the Kardashians. We know about that, and that's not what we're talking about. We're not talking about the Kardashians. Let me see if I can get this light up here. Working. There we go. Maybe this one's better. Let's see. <laughs> There it is. Okay, so we have a little light on the subject there. So today's word, keeping up. Uh, the idea is, is we do not want to uh, get too far ahead. Uh, you know, when you're keeping up with someone, you, uh, if you ever walk with your family, uh, I've done this, and I, I'm guilty of it really, is that you get you get so excited and you have such a, I have such long legs, and such a good pace, that I can just march ahead. And you get so far ahead that you're not really walking with the family. I know it's difficult, I know it's tough, I know it's a, a real pain, but the best thing to do is to stay with the group, to keep keeping up. So, and of course the uh, the other folks in the group need to, need to try to keep up with you as well. So you need to strike a pace that everybody can, uh, you know, can participate in and do, do well. I, make it my goal to keep up with the Holy Spirit. I heard Pastor Jack Hayford today. <coughs> he was speaking to uh, apparently a classroom of doctors, professors, and, and pastors and teachers. And he was reviewing how he prepares for ministry. How he prepares his messages and he spoke about how he really wants to breathe in the Holy Spirit and I, I was tying that together with what Judah Smith's been saying and of course just just having years and years of relationship with the Lord myself and recognizing times when I didn't breathe in the Holy Spirit where I, I ignored the Holy Spirit where I, I uh, listened more to my own flesh my own mind my own fears and I either did not did not keep up with the Holy Spirit or I lagged way behind or I ran too far ahead and it, it always ended up in the wrong space. Right now as a, as a person in my family I, I do my best to keep up with the Holy Spirit, to uh, be sensitive. One of my family, we, we had some problems with the dogs, so we made a dog area. I, I was walking in the garden today and the Lord said, why don't you use some extra fencing and put a fence up? So I started to walk and explore that idea that I heard uh, from the Holy Spirit. And, and then as I walked, I thought, what? I've got a whole area that's plenty big for the little tiny, these are little tiny dogs. I got a, a really good area that's just fine for two little dogs and uh, it's, it's already done. There's already a gate, the whole thing's there. So I went ahead and I built a dog house for them. It's a cute little house and uh, it, it's all done. It's got leather curtains and it's got uh, nice cushy beds and uh, I made little little grassy little grassy pathway to them with that true turf, you know, the uh, that beautiful uh, artificial turf that that folks uh, use nowadays, and I put the spikes in it, so uh, I, there's not there's a family member who likes to pick things up and move them around. This guy's not going to get to do it this time. <laughs> we'll fix his little wagon and his little dog too. We'll fix them both. So yeah, so we got that that all done, and the little dogs are so happy. They're in their little world. They're just all cozy. I went in their little house, and it's so cozy. It makes me want to, you know, it's very very nice. And they have each other, so they're going to stay warm uh, together. And they'll be dry because they're underneath uh, plenty of roofs and things. But that was keeping up with the Holy Spirit because uh, last night apparently they 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 did the final they did the final uh, spraying of of the of the fluids over the bedding and that was it so the, the the boss of the house said no more these dogs are to stay outside <coughs> and uh, 
So then I was thinking, well, I, if they're going to be outside, I want them to be in a nice, safe, warm spot. And I, and I don't want to have to fiddle with them all the time because I come in, I have access and egress quite a bit with the gates. And I want to make sure that I, I can, you know, get in and out without having to, to struggle with the, uh, the little, little guys, you know. And these are the craziest little dogs. They will go. They will go the opposite direction. Come here, and then they they dart off and they go underneath the lowest piece of furniture in the in the country, and they, you know, like come get me, pal. And I'm just like, ah, oh, please. It's so because I'm really tall. I'm six foot three, so I'm very tall. And for me to have to go in and and climb underneath a bunch of furniture and reach in, and they're all, and I'm just like, ah, oh. you know, it isn't a matter of of you know. They're just, they're just, I don't know what they're thinking, but they certainly, uh, they certainly know how to be frustrating, that's for sure. So, what do you need to do to keep with the Holy Spirit? Right now, I'm really listening to the Holy Spirit because I've got to get the uh, house in Pasadena, Casa del Green. I've got to get that emptied. I've been working on the fence today. I'm also trying to keep up with the family and keep things going here on the home front. Right now, I'm going to go to Costco. I'm going to get some sharp cheddar cheese. And I got a couple of the things on the list. I got to go get some more paint at the Home Depot. And I got my kids signed up for the uh, their, their uh, culture camp. They're going to go up to uh, Jackson, California, for a culture camp. I got that all done, and that was a big that was a big expense right there. Even though uh, I had put a bunch of money aside and I got it got it in there, it was still a good almost two hundred dollars past that. It was like I know what I need it right now. So. Tomorrow's word is going to be lollygagger. And it's similar similar to this word in that <clears throat> people looking in from the outside, they will say, what are you doing, Bob? Bob? Hey, Bob. Bob. Hey, Bob. Bob. And they're, they're trying to get me to... They're trying to run my life, basically, and tell me how to how to how to proceed, I, to go faster, to go slower, to do this, to do that. And people are all, there's a lot of pressures on you, on you. And the thing is, is that we need to just ignore those those other people who want to pressure us, and we need to simply and quietly listen to the Holy Spirit. Now, <coughs> that said. Now, the Holy Spirit speaks through people. So when my family said they wanted to have some grass, they wanted to have some turf uh, for the little puppy dogs, well, guess what? I didn't just say, well, you know, I'm not listening to you. Nah, 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 nah. No, I, I said, okay. So I got done what I was doing, and I jumped onto the, the project with the, uh, the grass and got the grass going in there, okay. I got that I got that in, in place and <clears throat> so <coughs> I did both I listened to the Holy Spirit I listened to my family and then I blended it together in a way that that made sense with what my energy level is and I, I normally come here to Costco <coughs> at the end of the day I don't get a lot of the samples and whatnot, but I do get here to Costco at a time where there's not a lot of there's not a lot of uh, snickerdoodles. There's not a lot of not a lot of people who are who are fiddling around. Uh, you know, the thing is, is that uh, the people now are all gone. So I go into the Costco and I can pretty much get through the whole adventure with uh, driving the Prius here today. So without, without too much hassle, I can get, get in and out of there pretty quick. <coughs> and um, it's, it's not a big deal. It's, it's really, really pretty awesome. I think I can turn this off now. All right, turn this off there, there we go. So, uh, looking forward to hitting the sack today. It's gonna be awesome to hit the sack and be able to rest. Have some peace and quiet. 
I really, I really enjoy sleeping. I, en I enjoy it very much. I'm very, very grateful for God to give us times of rest. And that's part of keeping up with the Holy Spirit is we don't want to uh, be a person who is insensitive to the moving of the Holy Spirit. Our goal, our, our objective uh, as Christ followers is to do, uh, I mentioned Pastor Jack Hayford here just a few minutes ago, and he was talking about you know, having the life. He said that, that we can do a lot of things. I can be very perfunctory in my, my activities. I can be on time. I can be, the food can all be laid out hot and ready to go. But if it's not done with the presence of the Holy Spirit, if it's not done in the love of Christ, 1 Corinthians 13 is very clear on that, that it's just a bunch of mush. I'm just shoveling mush out. Doesn't mean a thing. But if we will hear the voice of the Holy Spirit, if we will sensitize our hearts and our soul to the voice of the Holy Spirit. And Pastor Jack was interested. He said that that every single human being hears from God. He really believed it, that every single person hears from God. And that the reason that some people don't respond to the, to the voice of God or don't acknowledge the voice of God or don't talk about what God told them is that there's been a lot of insanity. You know, well, God told me, you know, and they go out and do something stupid and, you know, or evil. And, well, God told me. Look, look at the blues, but we're in a mission from God. You know, God didn't tell him to, to blow things up and, and do all that. It's still one of the funniest movies ever. I love that movie. But, you know, that was an idea of just, well, God, we're on a mission from God. I remember there was a thing years ago. They said that there was this uh, person who, who said, well, just do, do what it says in the Bible. So the guy just, like, cherry-picked all these verses, and he did it in some, it was some humorous, humorous, crazy way where they said, uh, you know, uh, do like the disciples. Uh, Judas went and hung himself. Do what you do quickly. And it was like, no, you can't just take random verses and just... <laughs> no, you can't do that. That's not appropriate. <clears throat> well, I think that covers it. We need to keep up with the Holy Spirit. Keep up with the Holy Spirit. Keep up with the Holy Spirit. You need to know what God's Word is. We need to find out what, what the Lord uh, wants us to do with our life. I, I felt very strongly that this, this time for me, in this time of my life, I've been given a, a, a chance to be a, a good good guy in my family and to serve my family and to love my family and to save some money and and so uh, that's what I'm doing I'm just I'm just become I've become kind of a grandpa figure I'm I'm Mr. Bob and I get to uh, to do all these really really cool things for my family and it's it's amazing it's really really cool um, being able to send my two oldest kids off to uh, the culture camp this year and that's that's really awesome. We're looking forward to that. We're going to be driving up end of June up to Jackson, California, and uh, we'll get those two young people. Uh, we'll get them. We'll get them off to camp. It's going to be good. All right. Well, let's get you off on your way. Uh, time is up. You want to write me? You can write me at uh, eight nine five four green att dot net. You can call me or text me at two one three seven one three eight nine five four. On the Twitter, it's Mister Bob at Bob Bob eight nine five four. And of course. <coughs> well, you're watching me cough. No, you're watching Bob's Daily Devo on YouTube. Appreciate the thumbs up if you just accepted the Lord Jesus as your Savior. Get to a Bible believing church. 
And I look forward to seeing you in August. We're going to have a big 60th uh, barbecue, and that'll be awesome. And So save the date on Saturday, okay? Love you. Have a great day. God bless.